Good morning. How's everybody today? Day two. Um, now you may be starting to feel some symptoms today. Um, we are going to be getting into the thick of it from here. Um, day two, usually people start feeling achy body, headache, that kind of thing. Um, I really want to know how everybody's doing. I've had a few people reach out to me so far, um, but please do comment below how you're feeling or send me a private message. Um, this can be challenging and I really want to be here to support you guys. So we're still in step one of the program. So we're still in that removing foods phase. Today we're going to be eating all the foods on the plan. Um, you can have fit or you can have uh, fresh fruit, frozen fruit, as long as it's organic, that kind of thing. Uh, but we're going to be starting our supplement regime. So, if the supplements are a little bit confusing for you, um, if you go into the program guide, this one right here, um, maybe like the fourth page in, it breaks it all down. What, how many you're having of what each day? Um, because I know that it it can be a bit confusing. So. Today, day two, you're going to be having this guy, you're going to have one scoop twice a day, um, and then you're going to have this one, one capsule, two times a day. Um, so it is really important to get these supplements in because they are supporting the pathways of detoxification in the body. So our bodies are designed to detox naturally. That's how we were built. But we were not built to be designed in a time when we have vehicles and food chemicals and, you know, chlorine in our water and all this. So the toxic load that we're getting is too great for our body to naturally um, remove those chemicals. So that's why we are supporting ourselves. So in the Ultra Clear Renew, you're getting the amino acids, the B vitamins, and um, the herbs that you need to help support those detox phases. Um, and then in the AdvaClear, you're getting your antioxidant support. Um, so they are necessary for removing the, the chemicals and the toxins that might be built up in the body over time naturally. Um, <clears throat> So basically what happens when the body detoxes is we have three different phases of detox. Um, we have phase one, phase two, and phase three. So the toxins that we're taking in are fat soluble. So when the liver processes these toxins, it has to make them water soluble. So that's phase one. It takes a toxin from being fat soluble and makes it water soluble. So in order to do that, it requires certain nutrients and herbs to, well, not herbs because you're not always getting herbs, but the herbs are very helpful for that. But it definitely just, it requires your B vitamins. It requires um, magnesium, <clears throat> all different cofactors in that. So your body takes a fat soluble toxin, turns it into a water soluble toxin. Then that water soluble toxin is a becomes a free radical. Now I'm sure you've heard about free radicals. They are a unstable molecule and they're quite damaging to the cell. So now your body has to take that free radical and it has to turn it into a, um, a chemical that isn't harmful to the body in order to liberate that from the body. So that's where the antioxidant formula comes in. So <clears throat> once it it, the antioxidant turns a free radical into a, a harmless substance. And then in the third phase, we need to remove that from the body. So that's where the digestive system is really important. And our water intake and our fiber intake, our elimination is really important because we want to safely remove those chemicals out of the body. So making sure that you're getting at least three liters of water a day. We're getting adequate fiber in our meals. If you're eating the foods on the food plan with lots of vegetables, um, we're, we're getting adequate fiber there and this guy's going to help you with that as well so we want to make sure that we are getting as indicated in the meal plan we are getting all the supplements in um, that that are required so just do your best to get those in the other thing is this is going to be vamping up the detox as well so this is going to be increasing that detoxification and that's where sometimes these symptoms can increase so if that happens just up your water <clears throat> 
take some time to rest if you can. Um, I know that it can be busy, especially during the week in these first couple days. But um, if you can give yourself a break um, and just go lay down, have a nap if you can. I know that might be unrealistic for some of you because some of you are quite busy. Um, but we really want to give our, ourselves this time to let go and release. Um, and if we are in a really stressy fight or flight state, we're not able to digest properly and we're not able to eliminate those toxins properly. So we really need to consider this. Um, so things like deep breathing can be really good for that. Um, you know, uh, light exercise, nice walk. You don't want to do too intensive exercise right now because your body's going through a lot. So just make sure that it's light, moderate exercise. Um, and also mindfulness, you know, be thinking of what it is that you want to let go during this time. So when we have toxins in our body, when generally stored in our fat, that's something that we've been holding on to. So we can look at this from a mental, spiritual perspective as well, that this is something that we've been holding on to, some protection um, that we've been taking on for a long time. And so through this process, we also want to let go of those things that are no longer serving us. And sometimes when we have symptoms, it can be a little bit of resistance to those things. Um, so if you can take some time to meditate and just ask, and generally those answers will come right away. Um, so having that courage to ask uh, and decide what it is that you want to change in your life and what you're ready to let go of and heal is really important as well. So I hope you guys are all doing good. Um, this is just a quick one from me today. I, I also should mention, those of you in Australia, your, your supplement regime is a little bit different. Um, so you're going to be doing your protein, you're going to be doing one scoop once a day. Your OxyGuard, which is your antioxidants, you're doing one cap twice a day. Uh, and then your Matrix Phase Detox, that greens powder, you're going to be doing half a scoop once a day. So, and I've sent you guys this little handy guide as well um, that's going to show you. Um, just put that one on your fridge so you know what you're taking when, so it's not confusing. You can put a little sticky note on your supplements as well if, if you need it more visual. Um, but yeah, good luck with everything, guys. Uh, I know that you are there's a few of you that have reached out and said that you're going through some stuff already so um just feel free to continue to keep in touch with me i'm totally here to help you and you will get through this i know we're at the very beginning and this can be, seem a little bit intimidating but uh by day seven i know it's a little ways away but by day seven you're going to be feeling great you're going to feel great about yourself you're physically going to be feeling great um so just hang in there you know this is 10 days in your whole life so you can do it um just take just take it a moment at a time and um, get out, get some fresh air, embrace nature. That always helps when you're going through those challenges. So have a really good day today. Good luck with all the um, different foods and recipes that you're going to be embarking on and have fun with it. Talk to you guys tomorrow.